Hey, what's up, guys? This is Than from Tidal Gardens. We often refer to Tidal Gardens as a coral farm, but what most people don't realize is that it's literally on a horse farm, or what used to be a horse farm. I've done a bunch of videos on the inside workings of the greenhouse, so I'm not going to do too much more talking about that. If you want, there's probably an entire playlist on this channel if you'd like to see more about that. So you can get an idea of just how far back the greenhouse sits from the main road. And I often have to tell folks that want to set up appointments and come visit that they should pretty much just look for a regular farmhouse out front because the greenhouse itself is very difficult to see from the street. The rest of the property sits on roughly three acres and consists of a farmhouse and several barn structures as well as a little bit of a garden. There is a lot of yard and that's probably one of the reasons why winter is my favorite season. I don't really look forward to cutting it in the spring and summer. Anyway, walking out of the greenhouse, I want to show you one of my favorite buildings on this property. It's this red barn sitting on the hill. When we first purchased this property, this barn was in complete disarray and it was a coin flip whether or not we were going to rip it down entirely. It's about 100 years old and when we first got it, the walls were pretty much ready to cave in, but we decided to refurbish the whole thing and over the years, it's gotten a little bit more polished, a little bit more polished, and now it's kind of a, a fun entertaining space. One of the main things that we've added was a lot of the lighting that's in here, um, but just like a little side story, and this is kind of one of the, the fun perks of owning a business. The bar that you see actually came from um, some guy's house and he was ripping out this really, really nice bar to replace it with a much, much nicer bar. And I got this bar in exchange for coral trade. So it's, it's always fun to be able to, to horse trade for re really random stuff. So I ended up with um, kind of a nice little bar section here for, for this barn. This entertainment area really shines at night though. I mean, it's as nice as the interior is. Most of the time people spend their time outside. And at night, um, you really can get to get an appreciation of the lighting that goes on because the underside of the pergola is illuminated as well as the there's uh, LEDs and the steps and everything like that. So people often take uh, full advantage of like the outdoor seating area here for the cookouts and whatnot. So what do we often do with this place? We entertain, um, but not nearly enough. I think uh, we only have a few different uh, saltwater clubs visit um, every year, and occasionally we have friends over, but it's, it's a very underutilized place. All right, I'm gonna be working on some more reef-related videos in a bit here, but in the meantime, I just wanted to do a little bit of a change of pace and give you guys some behind the scenes of what kind of goes on here that's not necessarily related to the greenhouse. If your saltwater club wants to set up a visit or something like that, please feel free to email me and we can certainly set something up. That's it from here. Until next time, happy reefing.